Hey guys, welcome back to episode 34 of the Let's Play series. We've been offline for a few hours now. 10th place in the tournament there. And grab all our upgrades. And then go farm some more money. So I'm still excited about the sneak peeks that are going to be coming out next week. Again, I got confirmation that Sneak Peeks will be coming out next week. So, we'll find out exactly what's in the update. That should be here early September, so in about two weeks, three weeks. Very, very cool. We don't have that much food. So, we're going to have to be kind of selective on our attacks. Here's a really easy base that's like open. Easy base to farm there. There's nothing there. 84,000. We'll try and actually save him. He's giving a good amount of medals too. 189 or so. So again, they said this is going to be the largest updates to date. And they've done some pretty big updates before uh, the chamber of fortune was a pretty big update and then also the here items was a pretty big update as well so some speculation if you guys have any thoughts on what might be coming um, we pretty much have confirmed that the single player story mode will be coming they've all but told us yes that's in the game um, it also sounds like there might be like boss monsters and stuff like that. So those things seem to be really, really cool, really good possibilities. Almost a given. So if there's any other things that you can think of, uh, drop a comment down below and let us know your thoughts on what might be coming in the update. You can see, even though he has an open base, we almost died because he has a strong wave group. So we'll check Toto. See how much money he's still giving us. Oh, I can't even find it because there's too many Totos out there. So I forgot what his numbers were. Um, I'd have to go back and check. But yeah, you can favorite them and then keep farming. See, so he has a really good base right here. So we'll definitely we'll star him. So don't forget to star people up here this puts them into your favorite list and if you want to take them out all you have to do is unstar them we are going to continue building up our defenses uh, we're slowly but surely gaining some gems for our defenses and all our arrow towers so that's a great great sign that means some people are dying some people are scrolling my wife is snickering at me So right there he had like seven knights and that's a very bad wave formation because they all die in one sword rain or one like cast of this firestorm so here again a lot of knights very very bad wave formation So 
So the good wave formation is with a lot of paladins in your waves. So we'll go ahead and check out our favorite list. See a lot of medals there. I forget what his name was. I think it was that one right there. So still 74,000, not bad. We can go ahead and attack him and keep farming him for easy, easy money. He's also getting a decent amount of medals, if I remember. want to be in the video too? So my little kitty beckons me so this will be the last raid here and we will go uh, have some playtime with the cats. So we made about 300,000, a uh, good amount of loot. We can upgrade uh, some of our arrow towers and get this one to level 6. And get all the other ones to level 5. Almost can upgrade our wave again. So we're coming close to a maxed out uh, throne room 5 here, I believe, which is good. You want to upgrade a lot of the things to max level, especially the, the castle guard, troop academy, and the wizard tower. And then your next stage is to go and get the uh, big amount of money that's needed for the throne room. You can see we need 1.2 million for the throne room, so that's going to take a while to farm. And then we also do have to upgrade the treasure chamber to even store 1.2 million. Take a quick look at our upgrades, and then call it quits. And 
Again, put your comments down below for what you think might be in the update. This is supposed to be the biggest update uh, ever. Uh, huge, huge, huge patch. So let us know what you think might be coming.